Hello drummers and other creatures. In this video, I would like to introduce you to something a little bit different, the drumming of a gentleman by the name of Tony Allen, one of my absolute favorite drummers. Tony Allen invented a style of music called Afrobeat alongside his colleague Fela Kuti uh, in Nigeria in the 1970s. It's sort of funky, it has elements of sort of jazzy improvisation about it, and uh, it's just the epitome of beautiful groove, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, I've been working on learning how to play the drums like Tony Allen, doing my best to emulate his style. Uh, here's a little example of what we're going to look at today. There's a video that's known to everybody who likes Tony Allen already on YouTube where he demonstrates the first beat of Afrobeat and he says if you can play this you're sorted, you can play that style of music. So let's get stuck into that and look at some of the elements that you need to be aware of and we'll then look at the construction of the, the groove itself that Tony Allen tells us is the first beat of Afrobeat and you know if that's what he says it's the truth. The first thing to look at is the hi-hat pattern and it's basically uh, the same as a swing but with a 16th note feel. So where a swing would be one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a the feel here is an eighth and two sixteenths, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a and we're going to play this pattern on the hi-hat to start with and like in a swing pattern we're going to play the hi-hat on the two and four, just watch what happens. We're playing that one and a two and a three and a four and a and we're playing a very short hi-hat note, one and a two and a three and a four and a, uh, so that even though I'm playing the hi-hat with my left foot, we're not actually eliciting an open hi-hat sound. And this is a very important component of Tony Allen's style of playing because he, he plays around with the possibilities of this uh, quite a lot. And a little bit further on in this video, I'll show you what I mean by that. But that's the first thing to get the hang of. Now, there is a video in which Tony Allen explicitly forbids playing uh, the hi-hat with the heel up, which he says gives too much of a heavy sound. And he's shown to be playing uh, heel down. I can't for the life of me get the hang of that. Uh, I can't play the hi-hat heel down without getting an open hi-hat sound. So if I play heel down, I find it quite difficult to do that without getting an open sound. So uh, I'm going to play heel up. If you feel like playing heel up, necessity requires that we defy the master on this one. So just to be aware, I'm playing heel up to make that work. And so on and so on. That's the first part of this. The next thing is the bass drum pattern. We're going to play the bass on the one and the E and the three and the E. It's quite simple, so we're going one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That's it. Now, with the hi-hat, it goes like this. Last but not least, we're playing the snare on one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, 
two E and a three E and a four E and a. So we have the one E and a, the A of the one, then the E and of the two, one E and a, two E and a, and then we have on the four E and. Okay? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and. Putting that all together, I'll play it really slowly for you. And then I'm going to show you how you can sort of break down uh, the pattern uh, in case it feels tricky just to throw yourself into it. Okay? So here's the pattern played slowly. So let's look at how we can put this groove together bit by bit and, uh, and learn how to do it gradually rather than just trying to fling ourselves in there and do the whole thing at once. So I'm going to go back to the hi-hat pattern and start with that. Then I'm going to add the bass drum and I'm going to play that for a little while and get myself comfortable with it. I demonstrated this before but I'm... Now, once I've established that I feel comfortable with that, I'm going to add the snare drum notes, but one little bit at a time. So the first snare drum note, I'm going to add on the one E and A, like this. Now I'm going to gradually add the snare drum notes to that pattern. Uh, again, I've, I've played that until I feel reasonably comfortable with it, that it's, it's moving quite naturally for me. Now I'm going to add the snare on the one E and A uh, on the last 16th of the first beat. So it's like this. There we go. Now again, I'm going to play that until I feel really relaxed, that I don't feel any tension when I'm playing that snare drum note, uh, in addition to all the stuff that's going on with my feet and my right hand. And once I feel at least reasonably comfortable, I now add the next little bit, which is the two E and. So I'm going to throw those two snare drum notes straight in there. You could just go the two E and then the two and, if that feels better and easier. Or choose whichever route feels easiest to you. Okay, so now I'm going to add the next two snare drum notes. Two E and. Play, play, play. Once that feels again settled, once your body feels relaxed and happy to execute all those movements together, uh, the last thing to do is to add the four E and on the snare. Um, and again, I'm just going to go for it. You might find yourself wanting to add those last three notes incrementally. So just to add the four and then the four E and then four E and all together. See what works for you. Again, I would always choose the easiest route, the, the route that you can do that uh, it feels like less effortful, I guess. Here we go. I'm going to put it all together now. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned how playing the hi-hat with the foot this way uh, opens up some interesting opportunities. And I don't think there's many other drummers that, that really do this, but because we're pumping away on the, the hi-hat on the ands, one and two and three and four and, and I'm moving my foot quite quickly, we're playing with the hand and with the foot at the same time but not producing any open sound. Now if I more gradually open the hi-hat, I'll then automatically get an open hi-hat sound which I can produce on the one, two, three or four, right, any of the main uh, quarter notes. And uh, all I'm going to do now is play heel down this time uh, and just raise the front of my foot. So I'm just going to change the, um, the motion that I do from a sort of heel up hi-hat motion 
to a heel down one. That works for me. If you can work out how to play this with your heel down all along, as Tony Allen instructs, by all means, go for it. But I'm gonna just change the movement of my foot a little bit and allow the hi-hat open sound to come through on the various numbers of the beat. So it's something like this. When we can start doing that in the context of this beat pattern, uh, it's really cool. And uh, whether or not you decide to dedicate yourself to learning Afrobeat, um, just this one idea is something that you could introduce to any other style you're playing, where you can uh, play the hi-hat as a closed sound, even when you're still riding it with your stick. And you can then just use a small change in the way you move your foot to create an open sound. And uh, there's loads of improvisational possibilities. It's super fun to do. So I'm going to now play the groove slowly and just use the open hi-hat a little bit to create different dynamics and effects. And there you have it, the first beat of Afrobeat. Learn how to play this pattern fluently and uh, have a go at playing along to some of uh, Fela Kuti's and Tony Allen's music. Um, and there's, there's so much to explore in this topic, I'm probably gonna make some more videos about it. So let me know if you found this at all interesting, stimulating, challenging, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested to hear and uh, I'm, I'm going to continue, as I say, to deal with this topic. Meanwhile, thank you very much for watching this. I'd be very grateful to you if you enjoyed this to hit the thumbs up like thingy, uh, to subscribe to my channel to be notified of what's coming up in the future. And if you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help with your drumming, I'm supposed to advertise this at the beginning and I keep forgetting. If you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help with your drumming, uh, you can get in touch with me using the information that's in the description section just underneath this video. Uh, and that's that for today. I think you should go away and practice.